YouTube. What up? It's your boy Life of Coach D. All right, so we finally got our rod ends that came in today. So we can go ahead and finish up doing the shocks. I've already done the two fronts. Now I'm working on the rears, and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, fellas, welcome back. We got all the rod ends on the shocks. Now we're about to add our oil, um, the kit oil. I believe it's like a 25 weight or 300 CST. So I'm gonna go with some uh, factory team associated 30 weight oil um, front and rear to start off, uh, just to test to see where we're at. And of course we'll adjust as we go. Um, after the first run with 30 weight, I'll see where we're at. And I might end up going 30 in the front, 35 in the rear. So we'll see, but let's go ahead and knock these shocks out and I'll be right back. All right guys, and we're back, the shocks are filled. Waiting on the air bubbles to leave and get out of there. A lot of people have asked me about this car stand. This was made for me back in 2013 by Ryan Eckert, aka Rhino. So big shout out to Rhino, man. You got your A scale hole for your A scale shocks and then of course your 10 scale. Um, so we're just letting these bubbles release out of the shocks and then we're gonna get them all together finish up the Intec ER14 uh, and then we'll let you guys see it when we get it back up on the stand. All right, fellas, there it is. Shocks are all installed. Intec ER14 is all put together. Starting off with the stock position on the shocks, which is the second hole on the top shock power outside hole on the a-arm and then in the back second hole in and the same thing outside on the a-arm so uh, there she is all complete give me one second i'll be right back right, last but not least there's the body we're gonna have custom rc paint do the paint job on it we're gonna go solid white green and a fluorescent yellow so he's gonna be this painted for me next week and we should be ready to hit the track so appreciate you guys sticking around for this build on the Intec ER14 uh, thanks again Extreme RC Precision uh, for taking care of me with this buggy um, and trusting in me to do a good review on it um, once it's ran uh, shouts out Gap Reviews A to Z True Boys RC Mobay 876RC, Icon RC, Rattle Can on Lexan. All right. So appreciate y'all boys. Appreciate everyone for sticking around through this series. And hey, man, Life of Coach D. And we out. Guys, don't forget, head on over to ExtremeRCPrecision.com for all your tools, cars, accessories, and more.